the Director of Solutions Engineering at GRM. This video demonstrates a workflow and file sharing process that GRM developed for a client that was processing an excess of 500 pathology lab tests per day. Their manual process was based upon the specimen and paperwork accompanying each other through a multi-building, multi-lab process using a 24-hour-a-day courier service. This process resulted in major quality control issues and delays because all processes had to take place in sequential order, given the mutual reliance between the paperwork and the specimen. The GRM solution effectively decoupled the paperwork and the specimen, allowing for an infinitely more efficient process. In this demo, you'll see how we can scan and manage requisitions with lab workflows that effectively QA the scan forms, as well as demonstrating how through integration, requisitions in Visual Vault can be seamlessly retrieved from any external LIS application. To start the requisition scan process, users can log into the Visual Vault solution and select the vScan icon. This will launch the web-based scan application in the new browser tab. Index fields are presented on the right-hand side, with required fields being marked in red. Users can select a settings icon to select which scanner to use and to set scan settings. Any Twain scanner is supported. When ready to scan, the scan button can be clicked and the requisition form will be scanned into the application. To index the accession number, we can zoom in into the document, scroll to the top, and we can use Zonal OCR to draw a rubber band and to highlight the text and OCR it into the field. When all the required fields are indexed, we can click the Save button and the document will be uploaded to the Visual Vault solution. Once uploaded, users can use the Visual Vault Quick Search capability to easily enter the accession number to locate the requisition form. This includes reading the barcode on the specimen using a handheld wand. Once records are returned, users can confirm information on screen, and they can view the document by clicking the PDF icon. The requisition form is loaded in GRM's Zero Footprint Document Viewer. This viewer has advanced search, annotation, redaction, and e-signature functionality. In this case, an approved stamp can be applied to the requisition image. Assigned workflow tasks can also be reviewed and approved inside the viewer. In this case, the user is approving the quality of the newly scanned requisition form. Users have the ability at any time to create ad hoc workflows, but also the workflow designer can be used to build more robust system-wide workflows. The integrated workflow designer allows users to build workflows using drag and drop functionality. In this case, a conditional workflow can be created to identify and validate whether or not it's a new patient. If indeed it's a new patient, an email notification can be sent out to the accessioning team to alert them that a new patient needs to be processed. The workflow can be saved and applied system-wide to process all requisition forms that are ingested into the Visual Vault solution. External applications, such as this LIS application, can be image enabled using the Visual Vault REST API. Once the order is located in the LIS system, users can view the requisition form stored in Visual Vault by clicking the integration link. The requisition form is loaded inside of Visual Vault's HIPAA compliant document viewer. The Visual Vault integration allows users of the LIS system to very quickly access information stored in the requisition document to be used to update the LIS system. In conclusion, this video demonstrates how the Visual Vault solution is used in laboratory pathology workflows and can be seamlessly integrated with any external LIS application.